Also a dispute arose among them as to which of them was considered to be the greatest. Jesus said to them, The king of the Gentiles lord it over them, and those who exercise authority over them call themselves benefactors, but you are not to be like this. Instead, the greatest among you should be like the youngest, and the one who rules like the one who serves. For who is greater, the one who is at the table or the one who serves? Is it not the one who is at the table, but I am among you as one who serves? You are those who have stood by me in my trials, and I confer on you a kingdom, just as my father conferred one on me, so that you may eat and drink at my table in the kingdom, and sit on thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Then Jesus arose, he got himself a towel and washed the disciples' feet, including Judas's. Later that evening, the twelve would argue over which of them was the greatest. So this lesson on humility and service did not penetrate their hearts. Perhaps Peter had this scene in mind when years later he admonished his readers to be clothed with humility. 1 Peter 5 verse 5 our Lord's words in verse 16 indicate that there would be no more Passover in God's calendar. The next feast would be the great kingdom feast, which he would return to establish his rule on earth. He saw beyond the suffering to the glory, beyond the cross to the crown, and in his love he reached out to include his friends. We thank God today for Monday Thursday for the Last Supper. We thank God for the way that Christ showed true humility, that he showed the disciples an example and one that they would follow in time. We thank God that he was willing to get down on his knees and wash others' feet, and so leave us a great example to follow. All praise be given to God. Let us join our hearts together as we pray. Words from Psalm 103 Praise God who forgives all our sins and heals us of everything evil, who rescues our life from the grave and clothes us in mercy and love. Our God is all kindness and love, so patient and so rich in pity, not treating us as we deserve, not paying us back for our sins. As heaven is high above earth, so strong is his love for his people. As far as the east is from the west, so far he removes all our sins. As fathers take pity on sons, so God will show us his compassion, for he knows of what we are made. He knows we are no more than dust. Amen and thanks be to God for these words. <laughs> 